In this published drive review, I'm going to be giving you the inside scoop on everything you want to know about this software. Now, you might be wondering what published drive is. To put it simply, it's a self publishing platform for ebook and audio distribution. Let me go into a little bit more detail about this. Publish Drive helps publish your book internationally. Distribute ebook, audiobook and paperback formats to all major channels including Amazon, Apple, Google Books, Ingram and Barnes and Noble. You can tap into niche channels like Dream, Scribed, Overdrive and many more. Publish Drive is packed with smart tools. On one dashboard, track sales in real time, see how many units you've sold and monitor royalties across different stores and markets. Now before we get into the back end of Publish Drive, AppSumo is currently offering a lifetime deal for this software. I will leave a link in the description below and also on my screen here, clicky.info slash Publish Drive and this link, no matter what point in time you're clicking on it, will always take you to the latest deal, whether that's the lifetime offer or the discounted version of it. Here we are on AppSumo and as you can see, you can get this for six $69 when it's usually $588. If we scroll all the way down, you will be able to see further information about this software and you purchase from at Sumo, you're going to get lifetime access to Publish Drive, all future pro plan updates. I'll let you read the rest of this in your own time. They currently offer two licensed tier plans. First one is $69 and the second one is $139. And the only real difference between the two is the amount of total books you can get. Now, if you can do me one quick favor by liking this video and also subscribing to the channel, that would be hugely appreciated. If you have any questions about Publish Drive, go ahead and drop them below, but it's time to dive into the software. Here we are in Publish Drive, and this is the very first thing that you're gonna see. So let's explore the interface and see what's going on. On the left, you have your main navigation, which is categorized by your overall dashboard, reporting, special services, and your setup, as well as a few little other nice features that we're gonna cover shortly. On your right has a step-by-step -step guide, which will basically hold your hand whilst you start uploading your first book. And then to the right, just some general information for a uh, published drive, which is, are you an author or pub publisher? I'm going to be an author today. And now let's get started with what they're recommending. So step one is uploading your book. I'm gonna go ahead and click upload your book. Then it's gonna ask you what sort of format you want it to be uploaded as. I want an ebook, so I'm gonna click ebook and click create new ebook. Now it's gonna take you through all the general information that you need to do. So let me go ahead, quickly fill this out for you and I'll be back in just a second. And once you've finished all the settings, go ahead and click publish. This has now been published onto 40 plus stores across the internet ready for people to purchase. I've yet to connect Google Play Store. However, as you can see, you can actually click a button and it will then publish it. Now, if we click and 17 more, you can see these are all the stores that it's going to be published on and this is how long it takes to be approved on each store. It will also tell you which stores it's not going to go on for whatever reason and you can even view your book by clicking view your book here. If you click view and edit, this will allow you to edit it and you can see what it's gonna look like under each different store it's on. Coming back to the dashboard, you can see we are on step two, which is book under review. And then when it's been accepted, it will tell you it's been accepted. Heading over to my books. This is where you can add more books or edit your current ones. Heading over to promotions. This is where you can run paid promotions just for your books through Amazon and associated platforms. And if we click on it, you can decide how much spend and it will just basically show all the general analytics that you would need to know through a campaign. Heading over to sales analytics, this, as you can imagine, this, as you imagine, shows you all the analytics that you need to know about what's selling, which books are selling, where they're selling, how much you've made, how many volumes, and of course, you can filter it by date. It will also tell you the geo of where they're being sold as well. In the royalty section, this will show you all the royalties uh, that are being paid out to you, other authors, other platforms, etc. And if you need a little bit more information about this, there's the uh, help 
help guide here. So click this and this will give you all the inside scope about each platform that you need to know. Really convenient way of just getting straight to the point information. Moving on to the printing costs. If you wanted to have your book printed and start offering a hard copy, well, this will do it all for you. So you just select your size, say how many pages, do you want it in black and white or color? And then if you were to do this through Amazon print, this is what it's going to cost you. If you're gonna do it through Ingram distribution, the same here and also China print as well. If you have a team helping you with stuff and this will show you all of the analytics that you want to know by each team member. Go back to my teams, click create team, select a book, choose a date. Then you would simply add the email address, the percentage, and what role they have here. And you can keep doing that with all these co-authors and just click create team, which will then add the team members with all the relevant information. I don't currently have a Google Playbooks publisher account. I've got two options here. You've got no, I don't, and yes, I do. If you don't, it's showing you step-by-step -step information on how you can create one and it's even linking you to a video with step-by-step -step detailed instructions on how to do this. If you do have an account, just click yes I do, fill out your information and click submit. Next we have stores. So this is the 40 plus stores that it's been automatically published to. And if you wanted to edit the stores, click edit imprint, and then you'll just fill out the relevant information here. Roll down it. Let's say if you didn't want to publish onto one of these stores, you will just simply click the off filter like so, and then that will do that for you. And if you need a better way of calculating the co-author royalties each month, this will actually do that for you. So you would click start, upload your spreadsheet, and then it will start the calculation process for you. Finally, we have the ebook converter. It opens up this area. And if you have a document, a Word document that you need converting into an EPUB, into a ebook format, you would simply drag it in there and it will do that for you as well. Now, I'm personally not a big self-publisher so I don't actually have much use for this software however I know a lot of my viewers were requesting me to do a little bit of review show you the back end of it and kind of show you how it all works hopefully I've done that and if this is for you make sure to support the channel by clicking the link below with that being said we have come to the end of this review thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time